sudden change in what you need to do throughout the course of a game. But today we have a sudden change. Shooting some paper all of you. I need soldiers, okay? Got a soldier right here. I need soldiers. I ain't really trying to get hit. You scared? That's all good. I'd be in there. Nah, he got an airsoft gun. All he want to do is play Call of Duty. He get hit by a 300 pound lineman every day, but I don't want to get hit by a paintball gun. Hey, may the force be with you. Ain't that Star Wars, Coach? Coach talking about may the force be with you. Ain't that Star Wars? What that got to do with paintballing? <laughs> oh, and it say 15 in here. Say 15, I mean, it was meant for me. I ain't gonna switch it. We getting started. <laughs> oh, let's Oh, let's Ah! I'm out, I'm out! Ah! Ah! I'm out! Don't play any games outside of football with Greedy. Don't play no games. He gonna cheat. You see his back? Still in. Don't worry about it. Florida State is the national champion. Florida State rules the BCS. We are going to do something special here. This is going to be an incredible tournament. Huge victory for Norvell. 14. It is a 10 win season for Mike Norvell. Manning Passing Academy, I mean, it's a blessing to be invited to that. I, mean, I got texted by Archie Manning. I kind of didn't believe it at first. I mean, he always get text messages like that all the time, so I kind of thought it was a joke. Um, it was real. Um, he gave me a call later that night. I talked to Coach Arvell. Obviously, it was, I was pretty ecstatic. Um, just the opportunity to go and be invited to that is a blessing for the man upstairs. really learned great leadership skills. It's fun to have them here. That's to have to have that kind of young man working with our high school and being a good influence on our high school campus. So it, it's a win-win for us, and, uh, and we got a great group this year. Yeah, I've been watching it for 10 years now, all the big quarterbacks go. I'm being part of it and meeting all those quarterbacks there and the Manning family was blessing from the men upstairs. I feel like it's just a big fraternity of quarterbacks that compete, um, interact with each other, work with a bunch of kids, which is always important to me, is giving back to the community. and putting smiles on those kids' faces because I used to be in that same position. So, yeah, I was listening. Yeah, you know, I'm excited that Jordan got that opportunity. And uh, you know, that's one of the best camps that, you know, in, in the country. And, you know, for current college quarterbacks to, to get that invitation to be able to come and, and put on display, you know, you know, who they are, what they're all about, you know, to help, you know, young you know, high school kids. It's, uh, it's just a great experience for him. All right, I'll let you spray yourself because it's not weird. weird. That light, so it's okay. I'm gonna get myself. Do it. Shout out to the one. Shout out to the one. Shout out to the one. Shout Trying to lead in the best way possible and show up on time, show up early, um, lead from the front, not the back. You can't lead from the back. Um, I can't ask my guys to do something if I don't do it. Um, so just working hard and focusing. And that's the biggest thing is always comes to the work. Uh, confidence comes from the work and we're working really hard, so I'm pretty confident right now. Jordan is a great leader, you know. Um, we look up to him. If, if I don't know something, he's gonna tell me right then and there. He always has a smile on his face and he is a great leader and I'm trying to learn from him. I mean, he's always a He's always been a great leader and a person that keeps everybody's vibes good. He, he keeps everybody up, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna do what he has to do and we just gonna follow along, you know what I'm saying? We see him going hard, we gotta go hard, even though that's just the standard. Yeah, for sure, keeps the vibes going. Yeah, he's good, good vibes on him, man, GVO. Yo, he means so much to our team. I mean, this is his team. 
know, he's been a part of the journey. Um, you know, he's, you've seen his growth and development. He also puts in the work to do the things necessary to, to help him help him improve. And, um, you know, I think, I think the sky's the limit for what he can accomplish, but uh, you know, he's a tremendous leader and, you know, obviously a, a very special playmaker for, uh, for this football team. When you have you know players that are coaching players, you know we have unbelievable competition. Doing player ran practices. It's no coaches, just us. You know that's when we have to take control. That's when we have to you know build a bond. I love off season because that's when you you know get an edge, you know get ahead. You know like I'll be at the field with Trey, a couple of D linemen, just really preparing. But it's more of a mental understanding. There's a whole new year. People are planning differently. People understand what I can do, what our D line, what our team's capable of. So people are gunning for us. So it's more of a just focus on staying on the mental track of things. You know, just lean on each other, create relationships. You know, they push you, they they go continue to push you throughout this, you know, this whole off season. I can go to the, out to the locker room and talk to them about anything, just like how I do my family. I can call them, pick up the phone, and talk to them about literally anything. So I look forward, you know, coming here every day and just spending time with each other, you know, whether it's here or outside of the stadium. You know, I just like spending time with, with everybody. D'Lo actually one of the first defensive players I met when I transferred in. I feel like that was our priority when I first came. We wasn't worried too much worried about playbook. We just worried about getting to know each other becoming actual friends and family before we get to the work. The family is always first before anything, and that's how we treat each other now. That's my brother, man. When we first got here, you know, me and him, we had to get to know each other in order to build a relationship. And now it's like me and him hang out every day. The relationship we got off the field, I feel like it carries on to the field, because you know, we able to communicate like how we, how we should on the field because of the things we do off the field. I've really been trying to, you know, gel with the guys, you know, we really get close as a, as a family, you know. And I feel like that's the main thing we've been focusing on as a team, you know? getting as close as together we can just to have us, you know, have us tight-knit and we're playing for each other. Eighty-five percent of our returning production uh, is back, you know, on our team this year. It's, uh, you know, it's it's exciting to to know that and those guys have all taken an approach since we got in, in January, right? To to not be the same, to go and, and really to take that next step. You know, honestly, it was just more of personal development. I feel like I could have became a lot better. And then when I saw what the coaches were putting together, the pieces, the people they were bringing in, Trey decided to come back. J Trap decided to come back, Fable decided to come back, all these guys started coming back. And I'm like, all right, they're building something for real. They brought in more transfers, they brought in some freshmen that are top tier. Another day, another dollar. Another day to get better, man. I can develop with these guys. I can come back and I can do what we have to do. I can spend more time with my guys. So I was like, what, what's the reason not to come back? Like, right now, I'm focused on us and I'm focused on having some fun. Reload that, reload that. Honestly, because it's, it's special here, and I can feel Coach Norvell and the way everything is falling into play, that it's a big turnaround happened. We had a good season last year, but you know I missed a lot of games, and I feel like I won't be leaving on a good note. Many of them that had the choice to, to be able to, to go to the next level, and uh, you had those opportunities. I mean, by by coming back, by you know being willing to you know almost almost humble themselves, uh, you know, to the work that's necessary, right, for us to grow as a as a program. I mean, it's you know this is a it's a really special group, and I'm, I'm excited for uh, for the leadership that they've that they've shown and already demonstrated. I'm excited about where it can take us as we continue to move forward. You know, it's, it's great having so many returning uh, you know, productive players, guys that have, that have played a lot of snaps here at Florida State, um, you know, guys that understand the culture, the expectations, you know, they've, they've seen the success that, is, uh, that has showed up on the field, but now there's that drive and that push to go get more. Everybody has big expectations of us. We got a great team. We got great quarterbacks, running backs on fire, O-line, wide receivers, D-line, lineback, like across the board, DB safety, everybody. Our coaches are the best in the country. Like, we got the best everything in the country here. I see why people have such high hopes, but for me it's just we're going to give our best. If we give our best, the goals we want, they're going to line up. Everything's going to happen. We just stack days on top of each other. At the end of the year, when it's finally time to get what we need, we're going to have enough to collect. Trying to get locked in. Trying to be locked in, man. Trying to do whatever we can. Just like Coach Norvell tell us work, we don't focus on all that stuff. At the end of the day, we know what we need to do. 
Everybody focused on doing their job. We know what the goal is, but at the end of the day, we got to get through this. We got to get through that first game. It's just one step at a time. We're not focused on the end goal right now. Just one thing at a time. Focus on the work. You know, focus on getting better each day. We just got to put this work in, and you know, we know what comes out on the other side of work. One game at a time. Not losing the game, you know, that's expected. I don't want no loss on the board. Being a team, being a great leader. A bunch of new pieces to come in here and earn respect, and all those guys have done that. You can tell they don't ask for respect, everything's earned. But I'm trying to chase the net. We work really hard, and all the guys came back, and we're committed to help this university take it to the next level. I always talk about uh, we have a lot of goals, and I feel like we didn't reach our goals last year. Talk about championships. We got, we got a cheese bowl championship, but we want something bigger than that.